All right guys, hello again and welcome back. This is your free lesson. And in this lesson, we're gonna have a look at how to describe feelings in English using phrasal verbs. So first of all, what are phrasal verbs? So a phrasal verb is just a verb plus a preposition or an adverb which creates a meaning different from the original verb. So it's a different meaning and again, phrasal verbs have lots of different meanings and us native speakers we use them all the time in everyday conversation so here are some examples so I ran into my teacher at the movies last night so run plus into means to meet run into run into he ran away when he was 15 run away means to leave from home run away i woke up just now woke up means to get out of bed so phrasal verbs are so important and so useful because they're always used in daily conversation anyway i have some really interesting phrasal verbs for you now they're all about feelings so the first one is to perk up to perk up. This just means to feel more cheerful or more lively. So I can say, we perked up when we heard the good news. Perk up, perk up. Okay, to crack up, to crack up. This just means to suddenly start laughing. We can also say to burst out laughing. That means to suddenly start laughing. So I can say, the whole class cracked up when the teacher spilled her coffee over her desk. To crack up, crack up, down in the dumps, down in the dumps. This means to feel unhappy. So I can say, she's down in the dumps because she failed the test. Down in the dumps, down in the dumps bottle something up to bottle something up this means to hide your feelings especially over a long period of time so i can say it is far better to cry than to bottle up your feelings bottle up bottle up next one worked up worked up this means to become too excited about something worked up worked up so i can say he was very worked up about seeing his family again after so many years worked up worked up so to cool down cool down this means become less angry or excited after you have become angry so i can say after i cooled down I realized I had been wrong. All right guys, so let's have a review now of what we have learned. So remember, we have learned bottle something up, worked up, cool down, to perk up, crack up, and down in the dumps. So again, to bottle something up, worked up, to perk up, Cool down, to crack up, down in the dumps. Okay guys, well thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next class.